I'll be honest. Tomato weight is an acquired taste. On first glance, it looks like any other asset flint from Steam, but looking into its development and execution, there's far more to appreciate. Very few games have achieved as much of a convincing surreal atmosphere than the first Tomato Way. From start to finish, this game's priorities are all set on creating such a bizarre world while somehow managing to organise this chaos. There are moments while playing that are so unique to its medium that it'll create some of your most memorable gaming experiences. Even when the game uses tropes that are so unsurprising in a horror game, it finds its own way of flipping the idea on its head and creating something new. So I'm just going to jump into the story of this game the right way, the tomato way. Tomato Way purposely starts off with lots of questions, like why is there a tomato seen by a campfire and why is there a snail that looks like it's been deep fried? The thing is, these questions are essential to setting up Tomato Way's surreal atmosphere. Creating an unsettling world this early in helps less of the crazy, but not bonkers things that happen later, so that they make sense in the context of the world, but maintain their surprise. But the reason that we don't want to see too many of these surprises is because once that becomes oversaturated, they eventually lose all their impact, so the surreal aspect of the game would basically be squandered. Tomato Way deals with the surprising moments very gracefully, with its structure complementing surprises at the beginning and end of scenes. We've got an initial surprise at the campfire, then a surprise at the title screen. The next scene we find out that the carrot bartender is actually a hellish demon. Bam, surprise! After a few fights with vegetable creatures, the wall of the bar breaks open and the reality of your world is questioned. Bam, surprise! This consistency in structure continues up to the very end of the game, where it's like, oh look at this horrible monstrosity, now you have to kill this. And the thing is, it all works. Having all these new surprises top the next in terms of sheer absurdity, you get a real sense of progression through an otherwise unrewarding world. You keep playing because you want to see what's next, and see just how it could be more horrifying than the previous. Tomato Way depends on the structure, and that isn't a negative. That's just incredibly good understanding of what your player is going to keep playing for. Vlad Castillo, the guy who made the game, has got something in concept far different to most horror games. And even though he knows this and you know this, he somehow manages to catch you off guard every goddamn time. It's not an exaggeration to say that the character designs in the game are so incredibly creative. They are almost as creative in concept as the idea for the movie Click starring Adam Sandler. This movie is so funny, but managed to make you feel really scared and excited in lots of ways when watching. I was scared at one point because the scientists in the movie said that there was a skip life feature on the remote, where it would automatically skip parts of your life based on your preference. That was so shocking and it made me think about my own life and my own mortality and that one day I'd die because I'd skip everything I do based on my own preference. So Click is a really good movie. You should watch it if you just want to have a fun time. Ignore the critics, they are dumb and don't know how to have a good time. Anyways, back to Tomato Way. We see that this game makes big strides in terms of its character design. Vegetables are appropriately incorporated into a horrifying look and when it comes to the bosses their absolutely bizarre design scares you just that little bit extra. Speaking of bizarre designs, the click remote from the movie Click starring Adam Sandler and Kate Beckinsale is also very weird. It looks like a normal remote but because it's the universal remote it means that it's futuristic and has an advanced design. Click is such a great movie because its side characters are fantastic and cool. Great and memorable characters like Bed Bath and Beyond Guy, Dr. Bergman, as Sig Gannis, sexual harasser, ancient executive, Ping Wu, Ping Wu's father, 
firecracker team, firecracker team, firecracker team, firecracker team, firecracker team, bikini girl. Click is a movie that will go down in the history books for being one of the most unique movies ever made. There is a very subtle message in the film about loving what you have and making the most out of life, which I don't think many moviegoers will catch on to. I think I overheard someone in KFC say that there was going to be a second click movie, and to be frank, I think that will be very good. I looked on the internet to see if there was any information about the new movie, and I found this poster for the movie. So that's why I think there will be a new click movie, 